Welcome back to our Steadfast Skill Assessment Academy. Let's learn what are the questions and answers for chef skill assessment. How would you handle grievances when it comes to juniors? Listening. I take time to hear their concerns and understand their perspective. Investigating. I gather all relevant information and speak to other staff if needed. Mediating. I facilitate a discussion between parties to find common ground. Taking action. I implement solutions, whether it's additional training or adjusting responsibilities. Following up. I check in regularly to ensure the issue is resolved and the work environment remains positive. How do you handle diversity in the kitchen? As a chef, I handle diversity in the kitchen by embracing different cultures and incorporating diverse culinary traditions and techniques. I promote inclusivity, ensuring all team members feel respected and valued regardless of their background. I provide equal training and advancement opportunities to everyone. I encourage open communication, fostering an environment where everyone can share their ideas and concerns. I also organize team building activities to highlight and celebrate our diverse backgrounds. How do you think is he best way to train staff? Provide hands-on experience by letting staff perform tasks in a real kitchen setting. Offer clear, detailed instructions on procedures. Encourage practice and repetition to build confidence and skill. Give constructive feedback to help staff improve. Promote a positive learning environment where staff feel comfortable asking questions and making mistakes. Do recipes exist to be followed to the point? Recipes serve as a guideline, but don't always need to be followed precisely. You can adjust ingredients, measurements, and cooking times based on personal preferences, ingredient availability, or desired outcomes. Flexibility allows for creativity and adaptation, especially when experimenting with new flavors or adapting to dietary needs. However, for complex or technical dishes, following the recipe closely may be important to achieve the intended results. If I give you a recipe which yields 15 donuts and I ask of you to make 24, what would be your approach? Calculate the scaling factor by dividing 24 by 15, which gives 1.6. Multiply each ingredient by 1.6. Adjust the baking time, as it may vary with a larger batch. Ensure the dough or batter consistency remains the same, making adjustments if needed. Test with a small batch if possible to confirm the results. Which beef, grass-fed or grain-fed, do you prefer and why? I prefer grass-fed beef because it typically has a richer flavor and is leaner compared to grain-fed beef. It also often has higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids and other nutrients due to the cow's natural diet. Which steaks have you worked with, and where did you procure them from? I've worked with a variety of steaks, including ribeye, sirloin, tenderloin, and T-bone. I've procured them from local butchers, specialty meat suppliers, and sometimes directly from farms or reputable online sources to ensure high quality and freshness. Which grades of meat have you worked with? High quality, well-marbled meat, Slightly less marbled, but still very good. Leaner with less marbling. Lower quality with less tenderness and flavor. Do you procure whole or processed meat and fish? Do you butcher your own meat? I procure both whole and processed meat and fish, depending on the specific requirements of the dishes I'm preparing. For meat, I often buy whole cuts to have more control over the butchering process and to ensure freshness. I do butcher my own meat when needed, allowing me to customize cuts and ensure high quality. For fish, I may purchase whole fish to fillet myself or buy pre-processed fillets based on convenience and the dish being prepared. Are able to organize staff and roasters, shock staff, and compile a work plan? Yes, I can organize staff and rosters and compile a work plan by. We are developing and managing staff schedules to ensure adequate coverage. We clearly define roles and responsibilities for each staff member balancing shifts and workloads to maintain efficiency and prevent burnout, sharing work plans with staff and addressing any conflicts or issues, regularly reviewing staffing needs and adjusting plans as necessary. How do you assist with costing recipes? Calculate the cost of each ingredient based on purchase prices and quantities used. Add up the costs of all ingredients to find the total recipe cost. Divide the total cost by the number of servings to find the cost per portion. 
include additional costs like labor, utilities, and equipment. Use the cost information to set menu prices that ensure profitability while remaining competitive. Are able to implement processes for a production plan? Yes, I can implement processes for a production plan by developing a detailed plan outlining each step of the production process. Setting clear objectives and timelines for each phase of production. Coordinating with team members to ensure everyone understands their roles and responsibilities. Monitoring progress and making adjustments to address any issues that arise. Evaluating the effectiveness of the production plan and making improvements as needed. How would you say you helped your head chef with menu and recipe development? Suggested new dishes and flavor combinations. Prepared and refined recipes to ensure quality and consistency. Gathered and interpreted feedback from staff and customers to improve recipes. Assisted with cost calculations to ensure dishes are profitable. Researched food trends and incorporated them into menu planning. Do you also deal with special dietary requirements? If so, how? Learn about specific dietary restrictions or allergies from customers. Modify ingredients and preparation methods to accommodate these needs. Ensure cross-contamination is avoided to prevent allergen exposure. Communicate clearly with kitchen staff to ensure everyone is aware of dietary requirements. Provide suitable alternatives to meet dietary restrictions while maintaining flavor and quality. Are able to adapt recipes, methods, and ingredients to the client's specific dietary requirements? Yes, I can adapt recipes, methods, and ingredients to meet clients' specific dietary requirements by identifying the dietary restrictions or preferences of the client, adjusting recipes and cooking methods to accommodate these needs while maintaining flavor and quality, substituting ingredients as necessary to meet dietary restrictions, ensuring that all dietary modifications are communicated clearly to the kitchen staff, testing adapted recipes to ensure they meet client expectations and dietary needs. How do you maintain your food costs? Keeping track of stock levels to avoid overpurchasing or waste. Standardizing portion sizes to ensure consistency and reduce waste. Seeking the best prices and quality from suppliers. Choosing ingredients that are in season to reduce costs. Regularly reviewing food costs and adjusting menu prices or portions are able to calculations and formulas to increase or decrease volumes of final products as required for the service. Yes, I can use calculations and formulas to adjust the volumes of final products as required for service by scaling ingredient quantities up or down based on the desired volume. I apply conversion formulas to adjust measurements accurately and modify cooking times based on batch size. I ensure proportions and ratios remain consistent to maintain the quality and taste of the final product. What are the basic methods of cooking? What methods do you use in your kitchen? Basic cooking methods include boiling, baking, frying, grilling, roasting, steaming, and poaching. In my kitchen, I use these techniques based on the dish and its requirements. Each method is chosen to achieve the best flavor and texture. What all sauces do you make in the kitchen? And do you know any mother sauces? What are they? In the kitchen, I make a variety of sauces, including gravy for meats and vegetables, tomato sauce, for pasta and pizza, bechamel, a creamy white sauce used in many dishes, hollandaise, a rich buttery sauce for eggs and vegetables, velouté, a light stock-based sauce often used as a base for other sauce. The classic mother sauces are bechamel, velouté, hollandaise, tomato, and espagnole. How do you make mayonnaise? What are its derivatives? To make mayonnaise, whisk egg yolks with mustard and vinegar or lemon juice. Then gradually add oil while continuing to whisk until the mixture thickens and emulsifies. Season with salt and any additional flavors to taste. Derivatives include mayonnaise with garlic, herbs, capers, pickles, herbs, and sriracha for a spicy kick. What is the cleaning process of your kitchen? Weekly, monthly, daily. The cleaning process in the kitchen includes daily. Wipe down surfaces clean dishes and utensils, sanitize food prep areas, and sweep and mop floors. Weekly, clean kitchen appliances, deep clean countertops and floors, and check and clean storage areas. Monthly, clean behind and underneath large appliances, desk scale and sanitize equipment, 
and conduct a thorough inventory check of cleaning supplies. If you are interested to go Australia as a chef, please do contact Steadfast Migration Solution Private Limited, Amara agent Kana Yadav. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please like, share, and comment.